Welcome back to our channel, the first place where you can find the new interesting updates about Elon Musk, SpaceX, or anything related to space. Let's dive into today's episode. Blue Origin's manufacturing is completely a disaster and was humiliated by SpaceX and Elon Musk. And why is this? Well, if you want to find out, stay with us until the end of the video. I'll tell you. Of course, surely, you're no stranger to the nicknames, the ugly stepchild, the tortoise, the black sheep, blah 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 blah. That's what people refer to Blue Origin as. So how is the production a disaster? Well, let's first talk about the BE4 manufacturing. With the BE4 engine, Blue Origin founder Jeff Bezos was promising a relatively low-cost, high-performing engine, but that was just an empty promise. Production started in 2014. Jeff Bezos promised it would be ready to fly in 2017, but so far production has been unbelievably stalled and showed no signs of finishing. Blue Origin is unlikely to deliver two flight-ready versions of the BE-4 rocket engine to ULA before at least the second quarter of 2022. This increases the possibility that the debut flight of ULA's much-anticipated new rocket, Vulcan, could slip into 2023. What a spectacular trolling from Bezos. The delayed development of the BE-4 has become an increasingly popular topic. In a previous video, we covered the reasons for the delay. Now, let's take a look at Elon Musk and what he did exactly to humiliate Bezos. In May of last year, CEO Elon Musk said SpaceX is building a Raptor rocket engine every 48 hours, disputing claims of a bottleneck for the Artemis moon mission boosters. As of last July, within just two years of production, SpaceX achieved production of 100 Raptor engines for the Starship launch vehicle. To celebrate the achievement, SpaceX shared a photograph of its employees posing with the 100th Raptor at the company's headquarters in Hawthorne, California, in front of the display of the first Falcon 9 rocket that ever landed. Of course, this is a very formidable number that challenges any opponent, but not stopping at Raptor 1 to serve the purpose of colonizing Mars, SpaceX is wrapping up production of the insanely powerful Raptor 2 engine at a dizzying rate. One per day. And those are just numbers for the Raptor. I haven't even mentioned the Merlin engine that's used for the Falcon 9. And where Blue Origin's involved, it's not just about the engines. Their own spaceship is also a disaster. Well, SpaceX has made incredible progress with the production and testing of 10 starships in over two years. Meanwhile, New Glenn completed the first fairing test, which is considered the easiest of all tests after 10 years. What the hell is Bezos doing? Also, Elon Musk announced on the 10th of February that the production of this largest and most powerful spacecraft will be one ship per month. Wow. What do you think about this, Bezos? One more thing, the construction of the launch tower. SpaceX finished in one year with catching arms, working effectively for successful stacking of the B4-S20. They are currently rushing to build the launch tower in Florida and two ocean spaceports. You can watch SpaceX in action as while that's going on, plans for the new Glenn launch pad began in 2015 when Blue Origin entered a lease agreement with the Air Force. It cost a lot of money progress is slow and unreliable is bezos looking at the space race as a walk for the rich now he doesn't even need to walk he's swimming in his own failures it's these disasters that caused all belief in the company to completely collapse the first was with ULA, a strategic partner for the company. Back in 2014, Bruno put his full trust in Bezos. Blue Origin has demonstrated its ability to develop high-performance rocket engines, and we are excited to bring together the best minds in engineering, supply chain management, and commercial business practices to create an all-new, affordable, reliable, American rocket engine. Man. Over time, the ULA Blue Origin relationship has become soured. In December, ULA stated, We are disappointed that we will not be receiving Vulcan flight engines from Blue Origin by the end of the year, but they will be arriving early next year. The certification program is moving along very well, and the production engines are being manufactured. We look forward 
to Vulcan's first launch in 2022. But till now, Blue Origin has remained silent. Although disappointed with endless promises, for now they have no recourse but to make the marriage work with Blue Origin. But not only that, the most painful thing is that the people who had been with him since the beginning also left him. Blue Origin has seen an exodus of top engineering talent following the lost contract, which has only exculpated its already considerable delays. Once again, we witness two completely opposite ends of the spectrum. By this point, Blue Origin has just flown 14 people to space across three flights in July, October, and December. Unlike Musk, Bezos actually knows what it's like to ride on his own rocket. However, Bezos didn't even get the glory of being the first billionaire to ride his own rocket into space. Just two weeks before Bezos flew to the edge of space last summer, Richard Branson completed a suborbital flight in his own space plane with Virgin Galactic. I wonder if he's really serious in this space race. He seemed to have gotten too complacent with his goals and fell asleep on that small victory. At the travel speed of a turtle, the first flight of the company's fabled New Glenn rocket, a close friend, mind you, of the SLS rocket from NASA that's also famous for delays, has also been pushed to late 2022 at the earliest. But that's not worth anyone else's concern anymore because any promises from Jeff Bezos, <laughs> I gotta tell you, it's completely unreliable. The only thing that's certain is Bezos will never have his colonies in space if he can't build the rockets to get there. And that may be a problem that no amount of money can fix. All right, Bezos, let me tell you how SpaceX stole our hearts. But I gotta make this really quick. Although Musk has never been to orbit, SpaceX's launch frequency is amazing. Once a week at present. Their launch capabilities are so consistent that they broke a record in 2021 with a total of 31 launches. Things will completely fall apart for Blue Origin when SpaceX passes its FAA review at the end of March as intended. Most terrible things await Blue Origin ahead. Jeff Bezos, be ready to receive. According to NASA, SpaceX has now made 24 cargo deliveries to the ISS with a 25th planned for May of 2022, almost 10 years to the day after this historic first. Recently, so to that, congratulations to Elon Musk's team, because <laughs> what can I say? They deserve it. And with that... And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Please like and subscribe. Everyone's support will be the motivation for us to create more quality content. Thanks! I thank you so much for watching today's video and please don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss any new updates from AlphaTech.